What's up, Sagittarius? It's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing fan tastic Happy New Year, and thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. Mwah. First of all, to those of you that have visited my Etsy shop and made purchases or even just looked at it, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys more than you know. First 150 orders this month get a free sample of da 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 Abre Camino, which is a road opener oil. The big bottle looks like this. It's got a lot of fun stuff in there. Um, it's uh, it's intended to help you remove obstacles and blockages. It's really good for if you're starting to do like spell work or really heavy duty manifestation um, and you're focused on getting rid of an obstacle or blockage or something, you feel like you're trapped, like you can't move forward or something standing in your way, use that, okay? That you can use, you can wear it on yourself, you could do candle work with it. There's a bunch of different ways you can use it. Um, but like I said, first 150 orders of products products, not readings and spells, but if I'm mailing something to you, I'll throw one of these in, okay? All right, that's it. Let's jump into your reading. Spirit guides, universe, guardian angels, and ancestors, this reading is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay. So, trying to make a choice or decision, choosing between two people, two jobs, two situations, two something, all right? Juggling, 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 juggling a lot, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what else we've got. So, let's talk about, so if you're new Sagittarius and you don't know how I do my readings, hi, please subscribe, I'm Tina, I like to read for you guys. Um, it's three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I clarify, I do a bottom of the deck, overview card and I am going to link your 2020 year ahead forecast which is on Vimeo down below. I can't do an extended this month guys. I just don't have time to do them next year or next month. I'll be more better prepared. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Wow. So double whammy on the two of pentacles guys. So that is again trying to juggle, trying to make a decision, uh, trying to figure out what to do in a situation. Double reverse is Capricorn energy. Um, you could be feeling like something or someone is toxic. Okay. It could be a bad habit or an addiction for some of you, but for some of you, it's going to be a toxic person that you're attached to for some reason. Um, you could be wanting to maybe get away from that energy with the double reverse, or you may have already done that. Judgment reverse means you misjudge somebody or something, okay? At first, you really thought highly of this person or highly of this situation. Um, you thought it was gonna be a great opportunity for you, something like that, but you have misjudged it and you're realizing that now. Present energy for Sagittarius. Okay, the lover's reverse. Now this could have to do with a love relationship. You could be choosing to separate yourself from it. You could also be choosing between two partners. For some of you, it will be like you have two options in love, okay? Um, others of you, it's a Gemini, okay? You could be dealing with as well. Nine of Wands, I knew this was gonna come up, Sag. So Nine of Wands is feeling very guarded, very defensive um, about something. You've got your guard up, Sag, because I think, again, I feel like you, you really misjudged this person or this situation. You really did. You thought it was gonna be great. You thought they were awesome. You thought something good was gonna come out of this and it just turned out to be not what you were expecting and not in a good way, you know? It, it was toxic is what it was, especially if it's a Capricorn, okay? Next card is the Eight of Pentacles reversed, meaning that you're no longer invested in this. You're not, see how he's working hard? Do, 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 do. I work hard for the money. Do, 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 do. No, no, he doesn't. He's not working. He's not putting any more of his effort, time, energy, money into the situation because he's like, I don't know who the hell you think you are, but you obviously have misjudged your character. <laughs> You know, and that's good. That's the right answer. You don't, don't invest. If you know, you know, if you know, if you know you're dealing with the devil, Sagittarius, just be careful, all right? You don't want to continue to invest and invest and invest and invest in somebody or something that's just not going to serve you well spiritually, you know? Saggies, I love you guys. And I'm surrounded by Sagittariuses, surrounded. All of my close friends are Sagittarius. My aunt is also one of my best friends, Sagittarius. My assistant is a Sagittarius. I'm surrounded. I know you guys better than you know yourselves, okay? I sit back and I watch you guys get involved in these situations, get involved in these relationships, love, 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 love everything about it for about two weeks, and then you go, oh my God, what was I thinking, you know? And that's not to knock you guys. I love you guys, obviously, and you love me, but 
it's because I, you guys have done this before, you know? You need to be careful next time. Take it slower, all right? Give yourself a minute to, to realize who you're dealing with before you get all, you know, head first in the situation, okay? Okay, all right. Let's see, what's in the near future for Sag? Let's see. The death card, of course, you know? It's a Scorpio, it's an ending. It's a major massive ending. So either you're quitting the job, you're getting out of the toxic relationship, or you're putting an end to the bad habit. You're putting an end to something, Sagittarius, because you have to at this point because it is draining the shit out of you, okay? Let's see, what else, Sagittarius? Four of Wands, and you know what that's gonna bring? Happiness, peace, joy, good surprises to your life. Weddings, marriages, you know, reconciliations. It's gonna bring a lot of good things to you, Sag. The Four of Wands is a beautiful card. Also, I mean, you, some of you guys could be quitting your job and working from home, all right? Some of you guys, it's just setting up a good foundation for yourself for the new year, you know? It's a celebration, it really is, okay? Let's see what else is next. The Five of Swords. Now, of course, along with that good time energy, that celebration, whoever this toxic beast it is you're leaving behind is going to bring conflict, all right? It's arguments, it's fighting, it's petty quarrels, it's whatever, you know? And I know, I know, I already saw you thumbs it down. I saw that. It's okay. You're just helping my algorithm. It's true. <laughs> It, it helps me get, you know, more popular. So just go ahead and thumbs it down. You guys can be mad at me all day long, and I don't care because what I'm telling you is the truth. Let's clarify a couple of these cards, okay? Because whoever, you're leaving this shit behind to be in a better place in your life, okay? To start a good, healthy new year, right? New, healthy, great energy. They're not going to like it, okay? They're not. They want to see you as miserable as they are. They want to see you right exactly where they are in, in their life. All right? And you can get mad at me all day long, but you know I'm telling the truth. All right. Two of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. Okay? So, again, trying to make a decision. Do I stay in the partnership, in, in the relationship, in the business partnership, in the love relationship, or he's got his hand on one wand, do I make plans on the internet to move forward? Do I look for the new job? Do I look for my own apartment? Do I do that? Solo, flying solo, okay? The recent past. Devil, okay? Now you have already invested a lot into this, right, Sag? I mean, you did. You were waiting for your ships to come in. You were waiting for the fruits of your labor. You were waiting for something and you were waiting for a long time, right? Because it just didn't seem like it was ever gonna come, you know? Because it's the toxicity of the situation. Judgment reverse, strength reverse. Could have been a Leo, okay, that you're dealing with. Could have been somebody that you really put a lot of stock into. You, you trusted this person, you did. You, 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 you confided in them, you trusted them. You were kind of like best friends with them, it looks like maybe for a minute, until they showed their true colors, until the judgment mask came off and they, you were like, oh my God, what is, I can't trust you, I can't trust that, you know, like that type of thing. The lovers reversed, the nine of pentacles reversed. Now for some of you, this is about money. You may not be able to leave a relationship behind because you feel like you're gonna be broke. You're not, you're not financially, uh, you know, stable or sound enough to, to be without this person. You could depend on them for rent or, you know, something like that. You get my drift, right? Others of you, if it's the job, it's the same thing. You know, you can't just quit the job because you need money, you know, to live, um, obviously. For others of you, you are leaving one relationship behind which was very toxic and you are going, you're not single, you know, so you're going directly into another relationship. And, uh, you know, it's it's your life, Sagittarius. You do what you have to do. Nine of Wands, the Ace of Coin. Okay, now somebody's offering you stability, somebody's offering you money, or somebody's offering you, like, uh, ascension, meaning that, you know, they can, the relationship uh, gets more secure, more stable, more grounded, you know, as time goes on. Or they offer, they're offering you something to stay. I think that's what I'm going to call this, because it just feels to me like they're, they're like, no, like, like, they feel you pulling away and they're like, they're up in the ante because they want to keep you. So whether it's a job or whether it's your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whether it's, I don't care, 
they want you to stay and so they're offering you stability. They're, maybe they're holding stability over your head to a degree. You know what I mean? Think about that, Sag. All right, uh, what's this? Eight of Pentacles reversed, the world reversed. The world is the most positive card in the deck, all right? So even if it's reversed, it's still the most positive card. When you got that card reversed though, it means that you, you are not closing out cycles. Things are not culminating. They're not coming full circle because you have not completed some sort of cycle. So you could be going backwards a little bit, back to the drawing board with this job, back to the relationship, you know, back, back, back to something because you haven't tied up the loose ends, okay? Let's look, the death card. The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, it could be that you know, in ending something in the near future, you're you regain your emotional stability because he's very um, emotionally stable. The King of Cups when he's in the upright, okay. But also he has a lot to offer someone. He's very kind, loving, affectionate, caring, and the way that you get that. Sag is that you yourself are in a good place emotionally and therefore you can offer that to someone else, right? Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is most definitely a card of marriage. She's also a, an entrepreneur, okay? She also owns her own, her own business. So it's gonna go, I mean, it depends on who you are and what's going on in your life. But for some of you, this is uh, just a reminder, you know, that you do have marriage in your future, okay? But others of you, this is, um, you know, this is you starting that home business. This is you doing something from home, okay? This is you getting that opportunity and celebrating. Look, they're, they're, you know, dancing for joy over there, all right? And then you got the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups. So somebody wants to apologize to you, Sagittarius, after causing major drama in your life is what it looks like. So will you accept it or will you not? I guess it just depends on your situation. Okay, so Sagittarius, that's gonna be it. Link for readings, spells, products, everything will be down below. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, I love you guys. Have a great month and I'll talk to you soon, bye.